football, two Cinderella stories came to dramatic finishes. On the nation's west coast, Brigham Young University, led by the arm of Robbie Bosco, defeated Michigan 24-17 to to win the Holiday Bowl, its 24th victory in a row, and the first national championship in school history. Meanwhile, on the east coast, another Cinderella rose from the ashes, as Boston College, led by the Miracle Aeronautics and Heisman Trophy winner Doug Rudy, stung defending national champion Miami. Then Boston College defeated Houston for the Cotton Bowl Championship. Tonight, the Cinderella's meet in the 1985 Checkoff Classic. Mazda presents the opening of the 117th college football season. Brought to you by Mazda and the full line of sophisticated Mazda products. Raycom Sports begins the season of college football 1985. Tonight, from Giant Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey, the Cotton Bowl champion, Boston College Eagles, face the defending national champion, Brigham Young University Cougars, in the third annual kickoff classic football game, the opening of the 1985 college season, an exclusive production of Raycom Sports. And is brought to you by Mazda. Sensational offense is to come down the pike in many, many years, and a lot of coaches are using it, but a lot of fans love it. It is so different. Well, I've uh, spoken already about both of these coaches being innovators. Lavelle Edwards has truly revolutionized the passing game. He has changed the basic thought. He's no longer a primary receiver. All receivers run their patterns. They adjust their patterns. And whether they see a zone or a man-for-man -man pass defense, the quarterback drops back, and then he has successive leads. The deep receiver first, the intermediate receiver, then someone in the flat. The basic offensive formation is what we call split backs. You can see the two backs erect in the backfield. They have two wide receivers most of the time, and then the quarterback. When the ball is snapped, the quarterback drops back, sets, and now he does that reading of the receivers that have made different moves downfield. And he always has three or four options which he can pick up very well. And LaBelle Edwards, of course, designed this pattern, and it's a ball control pass offense. One of the keys to offense is pass protection. And in that pass protection scheme, we oftentimes have to utilize our backs. If we can free our backs up to get into the pass routes, then of course that helps us to uh, have our, our complete passes. One of the keys to being able to help us get backs into the, in the pass route would be the blocking of Keith McCullough on Mike Ruth, a good All-American nurse tackle from Boston College. One on one? I don't know. I know I certainly couldn't do it. Well, tough enough to play BYU, the great passing offense, but having graduated three of the top starters in the defensive backfield, leaving only one returning starter, makes it even more difficult. And that's what makes Mike Ruth so important. He is the game plan for Boston College. Number 68, Mike Ruth, he's a nose guard, but he'll move all over the field. The circle, the inside man, the down lineman in the circle is Mike Ruth. What kind of an athlete is he? 6'2", 254 pounds, a vertical leap of 32 inches. He bench presses 580 pounds. The guy's a tiger. If he gets into the Brigham Young backfield, forces Robbie Bosco to throw the ball quickly, it can create many, many problems for the Brigham Young offense. And of course, that's what Jack Bicknell wants to do. He wants to get that defense going, give him confidence, and create problems for Robbie Bosco and the Cougar offense. He has a very, very uh, excellent pass offense. I, I, the, the key to my standpoint is to give him a lot of change-ups, don't allow him to, to zero in on what you're doing, and then your kids can't panic. Our kids can't panic when they complete three or four balls in a row because that's what they do for a living. They're going to do that. So it'll be a very interesting football game from that standpoint. Mike Ruth is a fine football player. The, the key to that is will we rush enough people that can allow Ruth to go one-on-one? -on -one? If we're going to only rush three guys, and Ruth is going to get double team and triple team. But if we can involve a little more of a pass rush, Mike Ruth will be one-on-one. -on -one. And you can't block, you can't block uh, Mike Ruth one-on-one. -on -one. Kevin Kiley, 
And it's the BYU Cougars, the defending national champions in blue against the fourth-ranked team at the end of last season, the Boston College Eagles. BYU won the toss, but elected to kick off. Jay Shumway will kick it off. Boston College will receive. BYU will have an option at halftime, and here we go. Steve Williams handling the kickoff on the 12. He is brought down the 26-yard line. First play of the ball game, and motion is Martin to the left. Now they bring Gieselman the tight end to the right side. More motion this time with Stratford. Halloran to throw on first down and comes underneath to his tight end, Gieselman. Gieselman gets out to the 35-yard line where he is brought down by Akeo. Number 51, the linebacker to get Halloran comfortable. Uh, yes, uh, very much so. Uh, Halloran has got those big shoes we've talked about before so far. And uh, if he can throw the short passes, complete a few, that'll give him great confidence. You saw the career for Halloran. That's a game for 30. And Stratford breaks the tackle and gets the first down to the 39-yard line. And Jason Buck, number 99, comes in. Not about other people in Boston College will tonight. First down, 39-yard line of Boston College. Halloran on the fake and throwing back over the middle incomplete intended for Diesel in the tight end. He overthrew him by 10 yards, but he almost threw it in the danger stretch and the tailback is wide and they have one running back. And the draw comes to the running back. Bell and Bell is out to about the 45-yard line of BC. The whiskey up over the ball. A quick opening to Stratford, and that's all he needs is a little daylight as he can use the pass to set up the run on just as much as the receiver as anybody else. Let's see what they do on third and 12. Halloran play action in the pocket well, and it is a five heavy coverage for BYU. I think the Halloran throwing those shooters will get confidence as the game goes along. They're always nervous, but once you get a little contact, the nervousness wears off in a hurry. And he's been in there now for this series. Didn't go too well. The holding penalty, of course, stopped them. We didn't mention Boston College offense depends a great deal on having a numerous, numerous changes of formation with men in motion. Back to punt, Steve Peach from Saugus. Mass, and he boots it away. And it's going to be by Sikahima. And Sikahima fields the ball about the 27-yard line. BC downfield in the coverage. Keeps missing him, and he returns the ball to the 39-yard line where well, he is brought down by Sean Murphy, a 35-yard punt, and a 12-yard return, and we'll see BYU on the offense for the first time tonight as there's no score in the first quarter of the Meadowlands. And candidate quarterback straight drop, and he completes it out to Hamouli, coming out of the backfield. Hamouli is up to the midfield stripe and down into BC territory for an 11-yard gain at the 49, and Ted Gaffney, the right linebacker, number 57, has to bring him down there. And the offensive backs, uh, Bosco, of course, uh, Heisman, Kofi, candidate. The other two men, both effective blockers and effective runners. And the wide receivers are very talented, very experienced. And Kozlowski is a key man, and a rebound offensive line that, once again, Coach Edward has confidence in it. First down, Brigham Young, 49-yard line of BC, and a great hit there on number 21, Kelly Smith, coming out of the backfield. He really got jarred and couldn't hang on to the ball. It's about the 49. Defense is back in the backfield. Second and 10 for the Cougars, slot right, Kozlowski in the slot, Bellini is wide, lots of time. Too much time, incomplete though, or is it? Did he hold on? He may have held on. I believe he did. That was Glenn Kozlowski. Carl Cuspain, number 35, had the coverage on the play. And that's one of those questions, though. Did he have possession of the ball before he went out of bounds? We'll take another look at it, see if we can tell. Bosco has plenty of time, and he's got plenty of time. That spells trouble. The receiver goes up, he appears to bobble the ball, but then he gets his eyes on it again, and I believe he did make the reception before going out of bounds. He had to bobble but I think he had control before he went out. Third down inches to go for BYU. Robbie Bosco with the nation in total offense last year at quarterback. He brings Jimmy Edwards in motion back to the left side and Hey Lilly goes for the first down. at the 39-yard line. If he made it, he was really stacked up by David Nugent, number 71, who is coming. He has great lateral quickness at Junior from Reading. And Jimmy Edwards splits out wide to the left side. Molini and Lindley are in there as double tight end on fourth down. 
Hey, Morley, it looks like he might have been shot for that BC line, the left side again. Ted Gatke, 57, the linebacker. Bill Romanowski, the linebacker, up there to make the hit, and Boston College stops BYU. And Mike Ruth was lined up on that side. Mike Ruth, the great nose guard, was in the gap over the guard, and they ran right at him and didn't get it. A significant play. Remember the game plan. Mike Ruth is the game plan for Boston. Halloran is the quarterback. Halloran play action, go into the air again, or hoping to, and does, and it is incomplete. He had two receivers in the same area. Number 83, Gieselman, the tight end, and George Yes, Halloran in as a tight end now, and second and ten for Boston College's Halloran. Rooks, and comes back up the middle of the run, and yes, he can run. He's a lot bigger than Flutie, not as shifty as Flutie, but he's third down two. Halloran comes to their side. He's got Stratford coming out of the backfield. And Stratford has the first down for BYU 47 and Mark Sherman, the free safety for Boxnard, California, by way of Ventura Junior College, has to go up to make the hit. And so far, Mr. Halloran is putting himself on the well play action. And Halloran going to the far side, and it is incomplete, intended for number 82, Kelvin Martin, the Florida Flash, and the coverage was out of him. Third down, six. No score, 10 minutes, 10 to the left side, and Halloran looking over the middle and throwing over the middle and almost into the hand of Jeff Sprouse over the 20 yard line. No score, 9.48 to go in the first quarter. That's going in there and the receivers that he has. Scott Norberg has come in now as a wide out. This is what Bosco did a year ago, capturing the imagination of football fans all over the country. Straight drop, and he's got some time. Now it closes, and the ball is batted, and then almost caught. Pelagata had his hand on the ball. Trevor Malini, the tight end, was the man for whom the pass is intended. And a nice job by Carl Pellis going up there, guys. Great shot to the left overhead. Bellini and Edwards are now the wideouts. Flag goes down as Bosco gets nailed as he gets that pass away to the corner. Now, BYU, led by LaBelle Edwards, 14th year, outstanding record, recognized as Coach of the Year by almost everybody that voted in any poll this past year. Kozlowski is back. BYU flooding the field with wideouts, splitting the backs, and here we go. Third and 14, Bosco coming long. It is intercepted. It is intercepted on the 43-yard line by Carl Pelagata, number 49, the weak safety from no 43-yard line. Stratford and Bell are the running backs as they come out in an eye. Halloran goes to the tailback, a little stutter step, and Stratford is on the way for a big game down inside the 30, all the way to the 25-yard line, where Rob Ladenko, the strong safety number nine, brings him down after an 18 A little bit of trouble defensively. First down on the Brigham Young 26-yard line as Halloran throws close range at the 20-yard line to Kelvin Martin and he was covered immediately by It helps a great deal when they put the ball on the turnover. Anytime. Right now, Boston College on the roll with the momentum going 7.49 to go in the first quarter and no score. This direction on a counter with Look at Stratford pick his way, but he's level the football. BYU is after to another football and looks like Brigham Young. Play to roll already. The linebackers are Romanowski and Gaffney. It is second down nine for BYU. Bosco at the end zone. Completes it. And he Here tonight, all x great quarterbacks. Here comes the run. And look at this defense reaction. Center handle my group. The answer evidently is no. And now the question is, is there anybody on BYU that can handle Mike Ruth? And another question is, will Mike Ruth go to the NFL or to the priesthood? <laughs> they do both. <laughs> Good. Second down, 12. Bosco, straight drop. Time. And he has Kozlowski at midfield. Glenn is brought down on the 48-yard line by Carl Crespain, number 35, the strong safety, but not until Kozlowski gained 23 quarterbacks of great note. Jim McMahon, Steve Young, and Robbie Bosco. First down, BYU. Bosco over the middle, that's Trevor Malini, the tight end, and Crespain, the strong safety, makes the stop of the 41-yard line, short of a first down by a couple. Number one, is there another future quarterback, maybe? <laughs> a little while off. <laughs> It was great to see Gip Nielsen here tonight, who went on to become a quarterback with the Houston Oilers, and shaken up on the play was Carl Crushpane, who had to take on the 
231 pound Trevor Malini out of Reno, Nevada. On this train was filling in for Keith Seeley, who was also injured. So now they're down to their third man at the uh, free safety. Robbie Bosco on second looks and throws, and he completes it. He hits uh, Kelly Smith coming out of the backfield, and Kelly's got a first down and a big gainer is out of bounds. On about the 12 yard line, a 24 yard pickup, and Roy Perriman, the left quarterback, finally was able to get on a mission. Some gone over the world to complete their mission. A little mix up in the backfield. Group and Dixon are some tandem in the middle of that line. Bosco on the drop and Bosco to the near side. He completes it to Smith coming out of the backfield. Not too much game. Was that still a live ball or not? Coming up at about seven to go for BYU. Coach, the offense changes when they get down close to the goal line, doesn't it? They have a different offensive package for this. Uh, yes, basically, they run crossing patterns rather than deep. The field is shrunk close to the goal line. The receivers and the timing work out better if you run crossing patterns for that and a chance to find an opening which you can't get if you go down field. You run out of bounds. Over the end line. Really, and Sikahema are the backs of Sikahema in the pattern, but he is pulled down by guess who? Mike Ruth. 19 after a loss of 12 on the play, and we have a second timeout called in the first quarter. We talk about his bench press, 580 pounds. Anybody who's ever done a bench press, you lay on your back and you lift the weight straight up from your chest with your arms and it is the motion that you use as a defensive lineman. It creates strength exactly in the area that you need to use it. Putting your arms out and handling offensive linemen and uh, Ruth is maybe the strongest guy in college football in that direction. Yeah, certainly, in spite of uh, Ruth's great play thus far, Bosco has completed 8 out of 11 passes for 101 yards. He's thrown one interception, so he's off to a great start here in the first quarter. Gary Webster, who has never kicked in a varsity game, will be going from 43 yards up. He's a Juco All-American, and the kick is blocked. It is blocked by Boston College, and finally the ball... No score. I think all of us were probably correct in thinking there might be two or three touchdowns in the first period. Two or three more in the second period. Both explosive offenses, but what a job the defenses have done tonight. Robbie Bosco, first down. Under pressure, runs out of the pocket, looking. Mike Ruth missed it. No, he did Second down, 17. Mike Ruth, boy, you talk about Alton Trophy candidate. Second down, 17 to go. And a reverse as Kelly Smith tries to get to the outside period. So there is no score after one. And we'll be back with more action from the Meadowlands in New Jersey, the third annual kickoff classic. Bosco staying in the air. Hainbooley out the backfield. And he is having trouble getting past. He led. BYU in rushing last year with 796 yards. He is joined by Sikahim in the backfield. Bosco wants it from the air, though. And he over the line. Is that present Bosco? Yeah, it does. They're not used to firing out of it. back, get the contact. Just stand them off the line and knock them back off the line. They're used to protecting the passer. Bosco, third and goal. Touchdown to Bellini. Bellini is fifth career touchdown. He had four TDs a year ago. The junior from San Leandro getting the six-yard touchdown reception and BYU's passing game is working. Usually does unless it's a different kind of defense. <laughs> so Lavelle Edwards and his defending national champions are on the board first tonight. And Mark Bellini, San Leandro, California, who took 35 passes a year ago. And this extra point try is not good. He Drop back of Bosco. The receivers are now out. He reads them and finds Bellini open in the slot, wide, wide open in the end zone on that little inside crossing pattern. So it's 13 minutes, 11 seconds away from halftime in the kickoff classic. BYU hit six to nothing, and we'll be back after this word. Now Halloran will go upstairs, and he's got some time, but all of us. Outrageous coverage. They've got six foot three, 226 pound quarterback. Rory Perriman guarding Kozlowski man to man trying to run with him up the sideline. You see it from behind the quarterback. Now the guy, number eight, weighs 226 pounds. There's no contest. 
Kozlowski's got him beat so bad, he's just trying to catch him. Kozlowski's able to come in behind him because Perryman's not watching the ball and make the catch. They have to do something. Either go zone or get somebody else in there on that guy because he can't cover. Well, get Perryman to turn around and watch for the football. Yeah, he could have made an interception if he'd done it. <laughs> First and goal to go, BYU. Cougars lead six to the league. Sick of him and gets the call. Touchdown, BYU, it appears. If the ball is on the plane of the goal line, it would be a touchdown, but he might be uh, an inch short. So they got Laka Hemuli from Laie, Hawaii. Let BYU in rushing a year ago, racks up the touchdown. Last year he had nine touchdowns rushing. He's only 5'10", but he is really compact. It is 12 to nothing. The guy into the gun now is Halloran. Now he's, his shoulder's got to sag a little bit when he sees that second touchdown. He may have been under a little bit of pressure from the press and covered up and, and following Doug Flutie, but now he's got to come back from uh, at least 13 or 12 points. And they go for one or two here. And they go for two. <laughs> You're the coach. What do you do? And you go for two. And you try to fix it up. You got to get even on the extra points. Just about Bosco looking for the end zone for the two, and he's got the two. Kelly Smith out of the backfield for the two-point conversion and Brigham Young goes up 14 to nothing with nine minutes and 35 seconds left to play in the first shutout in the first period. And we'll be back after this message from Rico. That's a little bit more than two yards, two yards exactly on the next one. Punt, they fumbled. That was the possession that really hurt them on the seven-yard line. Stratford gave it up and then a punt, punt, and they're not getting better, as you can see by that statistic. Sean Halloran, who had thrown only 42 times in collegiate football, while Flutie was going to go man, now fires away here and underthrows his intended receiver leading his team. Jack was born and raised about 35 miles from here. Well, Halloran is going to just discuss it with himself about that last throw. He clearly is the number one quarterback, but uh, Jack McNeil said Peach has come along so rapidly, and uh, just watching Halloran and the fact that he's not getting any confidence, you've got to wonder, is he thinking about Peach? Coach, what is he thinking, Coach? You've been in that position. You don't want to be in that position. That's what he's really thinking, but uh, basically, we just got to execute better. Our receivers are open. We just aren't hitting them. BC has had trouble on the first down. That's it. He needs to settle down a bit. Giaquino is back, and there are four wideouts for Boston College on third down and ten. Here comes the charge for the defensive unit of BYU, but Halloran sees a man who is triple covered, and flags are down as pass interference apparently is a call against the BYU hit a little early. Scott Geeson, very dependable, tight end. Geeson has three good tight ends. First down, ten. Halloran play action. Bavea coming after me. Completes it to Gieselman, however, at the 48-yard line for a 12-yard pickup. And a BYU leading 14 to nothing, 8.47 to go. Halloran in the pocket, stays in the pocket, and it is Troy Stratford. Stratford first down, 26-yard line at BYU. Ladenko had the coverage in a 24-yard pickup and first down for Boston College. And after expressing all these doubts about Halloran on this last <laughs> drive, he has looked like the quarterback Jack McNeil said, yes, I know he is. Drops back, keeps his poise. Stratford is not really very open, but he put the ball right on the numbers. Big BYU, number 14, Boston College. Halloran and Gamea get it. A, a hand on his ankle, but he got that pass. He's no three to go in the first half. Third and eight. Stratford is put way out wide to the left. Here comes Gavea again. And the pass. this is the second pass interference call against Brigham Young's defense in this particular drive. Of the junior colleges for sacks last year with six, five sacks in junior college. Giaquino is in, Martin is in, his wideouts for BC, second and ten. Boot right, right, and it is caught by Gieselman for a first down, and he fumbles the football, but I believe it. Well, before he fumbles. Fourteen-yard pickup, first and goal to go to seven. Futrell is now in for BYU. Stratford going for the flag, and he is now. Tailback is being taken to the locker room. You saw him limp off a moment ago. Here's the run, and a touchdown as Mahalik kicks it in. John Mahalik, the fullback, the senior from Elyria, Ohio, scores for Boston College. Well, that's got 
to be a thrill for Mahalik coming into the ball game, getting the call. The 6'2", 232-pounder passed his way in for the TD for Bury. And that extra point is good. And we have five minutes and 40 seconds to go in the first half here in the Meadowlands at East Rutherford, New York. And Seldom that he does that. That's good coverage, Coach. It seemed like they had him covered all over the field on that play. And Bosco wisely, I, I think some of the things he does are so subtle. He went to the to the sideline and threw it outside a little bit so it wouldn't be intercepted. Maybe the receiver makes a great catch and he picks up some yardage. I have a feeling he made it a little wide on purpose. He noted that Bosco is already over 200 yards, and he set NCAA records for the most consecutive games of 200 yards of over 12 last year. Second and ten. Bosco, Molini through his hands, third to catch the ball. By the way, Steve Williams is back, and Ted Gaffney is back in the mix, and can play rush on Bosco. He weighs 264 pounds, and I can bounce his arms are bigger than my legs. You get those pass, uh, pass interference scrolls, give him first down. It's pretty frustrating with the defensive coach. Waddle has come in, question him from over and out of the pocket. Throws on the run, completes it to Bellini. Bellini at the 45, Bellini at the 42 of Boston College. Part of Bosco last year, I think, caught the imagination of every football fan playing injured in the Holiday Bowl, led BYU to a win over Michigan. Bellini open again, Bellini at the Kozlowski over 100 yards as a receiver. Bellini up at 38 to draw the Hayley. Really trouble in the backfield. Bobble to BYU. A minute 24 to go in the first half. Bringing down the lead 14 to 7. That is Kozlowski for the first down. Breaking the tackle. Good. And Bosco is going to try it. Bosco comes back up the middle and now he throws it. Remaining in the first half with Brigham Young leading by a score of 14 to 7. All the points scored. Winner coming with a minute 23 left in the game. Well, Mel Edwards just talked to every receiver and Robbie Bosco on the sideline, so I guess we can expect a bomb here. Four seconds to go. They stack the right side with wideouts. And Bosco pumps it and lets it fly. And he's got Kozlowski down there. And Kozlowski going for a diving touch off the fingertips of Carl Crushpane. Couldn't quite reach the ball. And we've come to the end of the first half. And Kozlowski apparently is hurt again. He may have a little torture for it. Look at what Troy Stratford has done. 87 of the 107 yards rushing for Boston College. A little misdirection on that play, really set it up, and a great block by Martin. St. Louis will try the extra point, and we have a tie ball game. We look at the scoreboard, 14-14 uh, to 14 now as they went for the extra point. And here's the backfield, there's an eye formation, they made a little movement to the right, end of the ball off to Stratford, and coming back on a little bit of an option reverse, you can see Martin go down the field and make the block. He faked it inside, then brought it back outside, and with the speed that he has, the reaction of Brigham Young for the first fake drew them in and he broke it to the outside. Easy Stratford rather. Troy's on his way to leading Boston College in rushing for a fourth consecutive year. And he's up to group. Bosco backpedaling, looking and throwing. And he's got Bellini open. Bellini at first. The same accuracy as he does when he's back in the pocket. He's a remarkable quarterback. How about that? 300 yards. We're still in the third quarter. Seek ahead on Hamuli. Or now the running back. First and ten at midfield. Bosco comes right up the middle. This time he's going to run for a few yards. Oh, does he get fouled? He popped up the football. And Boston College recovers. A big hit by Bill Thompson, 46. Neil Lighton was there for the recovery. And finally, I believe the ball is going to be down. Although right now it is marked at the 48-yard line. I believe the original marking will hold at the 46. Ball to turn it over to BC. Second and ten. The wonderful defensive play by the young right? That's how a tackle should be made. Second and ten, 45-yard line of Boston College. Play action. Halloran. Halloran shoots it over the middle. It is intercepted and is picked up by Mark Sherman of BYU. At the 37-yard line of Brigham Young. Gasparello is the man in the pattern. And the ball was tipped and...
Mark Sherman from Oxnard, California. Back. And Bosco starts looking upstairs with a little more than four minutes to go. And he threw one. The college is beginning to take over a little bit. They've been pounding on BYU the entire game, even when they were going to air it up for Kozlowski. And Kozlowski double team makes the catch anyway. Kozlowski heading to the far side. Pulled down and left the call by Carl Pelagata. The one-yard reception by Kozlowski, who's had a great night. Kosko dropping back. Again, too much time. Kozlowski is down the field. He's double covered. He plays the ball. The defenders do not play the ball. You see them both not looking back, not seeing the ball. Kozlowski does, goes back and gets it. Appeared that he might be able to break it into the end zone. Finally, though, he is hit. Stop. Oh, oh, is Bellini wide open? Somebody did not cover Mark Bellini. All he had to do was not drop the football. Brigham Young takes the lead on a 12-yard touchdown pass that goes to Bellini, his second TD reception tonight. He got that play off a little bit quick, too. <laughs> the defense didn't get organized to get the hollow defensive play, I don't believe. Unbelievable sequence of plays. The play before that, Kozlowski was why he ran through the seam and nobody even covered him. They chased him down. Finally, his coach said, Bellini, there wasn't anybody within 10 yards of him. Gary Webster for the extra point try, and this one is good. And Brigham Young goes up in front by a score of 21 to 14. They went on a very quick snap on this touchdown play. See Bosco dropping back. It's about a five-step drop, but he gets rid of the ball very quickly here. Bellini has come out of the backfield, moved into the center zone. The linebackers were nowhere in position, nor were either of the safeties. He was wide the lead. And we'll be back. Well, they, they've got Perryman off the field, and they're handling Mike Roof now. Bosco on a drop, and this pass completed to Haber Early out of the backfield at about the 39 and that. Feeney splits wide to the right, Norberg to the left, second down, five. Bosco to the near side, going to Smith out of the back end. If he sees it coming, the receiver's got to see it too. Bosco with some time, Bosco being pursued, and now cranks it up and goes for the end zone. Undefeated for the last 24 games, going for number 25 straight tonight. On the 27-yard line of Boston College and Bosco swings it out to Smith out of the backfield. He turns on the speed as he tries to turn the corner. And Boston College defense reacts with Garrick McPherson, the left quarterback, 48, and Chuck Garucky, 95. About the qualities of life and his priorities. That's Kozlowski wide open. And Brother Mike, the defensive back of the Miami Dolphins, is going to be saying, boy, my brother can play, can he? Another blitz. Perfect read. Great pattern by Kozlowski. He has to read the blitz, too, and he was wide open down the middle. 241 yards for Kozlowski. And the extra point added by Webster. And Brigham Young has moved out now by a score of 28-14 over Boston College. This is Bosco dropping back on the touchdown pass. You can see that he feels the blitz coming, but he's got great protection this time. Kozlowski saw the safety men blitzing, moved it into the middle, was behind everybody, split them, made an easy catch for the touchdown, but again, marvelous read by Bosco, marvelous adjustment by Kozlowski. BYU leading it 28-14. to 14. Passes against most of the teams as they have tonight, but it's the ball control offense, the read of the quarterback, and the receivers. And they have 308 left to play again. They go to the run. Kelly Smith coming back to the near side at the five and bounces down about the four. Early this year, Washington is a great football team, and UCLA is picked to really be one of the powers on the Pacific Coast. The BYU Spice. There they are, Bosco to the left, Kozlowski to the right. Kozlowski, 241 yards, 10 receptions, 1 touchdown. Bosco, 53 passes, 35 completions, 508 yards, 3 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. He had 11 interceptions all of last year. First and 10, Fowler goes to the run. Troy Pelosi also to be a top contender 
for the award again this year with a 28-14 win over Boston College coming into this year, ranked number four in the nation of a year ago. And we'll return to Giant Stadium in the Meadowlands in East Rutherford, New Jersey, right after these messages. player in the football game along with Kozlowski from our award, the Old Spice Award, but uh, he lived up to every bit of advanced billing that he received and what uh, Ravel Edwards said about him certainly is true tonight. He can be as good as any quarterback I've ever seen. We watch him here as he drops back to throw. He's got that beautiful poise. Ball downfield. His receiver has found the opening and is Pelini in the end zone. 